Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I post true crime content like this all the time. So if that's something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be talking about the Mothman. I'm also going to be doing some Halloween makeup as it's October. So if you want to see that, let's get into the case. Case story. <laughs> A small town on the Ohio River named Point Pleasant in West Virginia. The year is 1966 and Point Pleasant has a population of around 5,000 people. In the town it seems like everyone, it was just a safe, quiet community. The crime rate was low and as people got on with their lives and were just sticking to their own business. A man named Roger Scarberry was driving with his wife Linda, cousin Lonnie and their friends Mary and Steve a few miles away from Point Pleasant in November of 1966. Near the McClintic Wildlife Management Preservation, this preserve housed the West Virginia Ordnance Works, which was an abandoned TNT factory which was used in World War II. The area was called the TNT area by the locals. I look crazy. The whole area had been gated off as it had been abandoned for some time. This made it a popular spot for the local youths. You know, smoking, drinking, doing what teens do. Roger, Linda, Lonnie, Steve and Mary were going to do exactly this. Roger pulled up to the gate and he said he instantly felt a weird vibe. Something was off. Anyways, the group gets out of the car, they get to the gated area and are just hanging out when they notice some red lights and they are moving. Now this area is abandoned so they were wondering why there were some red moving lights. They just stood there silent trying to figure out what these red lights are. Then they realised that the lights were moving and that they were coming towards them. As, as the lights got closer and closer and more clear, they, they seemed to be a pair of red glowing eyes. There was a large dark figure attached to the eyes, obviously, and this dark figure was believed to be seven foot tall, and it also had large wings, which were tucked behind its back. Now seeing this, the group do the sensible thing, and they skirt right out of there. They got in the car and Roger put the gas pedal right to the floor and sped away. Everyone in the car says that this creature immediately took to the sky and followed the car. Now, Roger wasn't driving slowly. He was pushing speeds of 100 miles an hour. And this creature was still able to stay with them. Roger says that when he was looking in the rear view mirror, he could see dark shadows and ma the massive red glowing eyes. He says they drove straight to the Mason County Courthouse. They went to report what they had seen and the Mothman had followed them the whole way there. It just kept flying and then it flew away into the darkness of the night. First sighting of what was known as the Mothman and it definitely was not going to be the last ran into the courthouse shouting about what they had seen. Naturally you're gonna think, ah no one's gonna believe them, they're crazy. But a deputy named Millard Halstead knew that they were telling the truth. You see Deputy Millard says he knew the kids their whole lives and that they were not troublemakers which made him have a gut feeling that they were telling the truth. The group were all interviewed separately and they all gave the exact same story. 
which and they all had the same immense look of fear in their eyes which again proves that they're telling the truth roger and the deputy actually went back to the tnt area to look for evidence that the mothman existed and to prove their claims unfortunately they had no luck as no evidence was found in the area remember this is a small town about five thousand people right so people started talking everybody had heard about the creature some were scared and upset and then there's non-believers who were just not convinced that this was real Another group decided that it would be fun to go to the TNT area to look for the Mothman. Maybe find some evidence that the thing even existed, I don't know. But once again, nothing was found. At a nearby home, a sighting would happen. A young lady, Marcella Bennett, was visiting friends in Point Pleasant. This friend lived close to the TNT area. Marcella leaves the house. She's carrying her baby in her arms. She walks over to her locked car and is stood there, you know, getting the keys to unlock the car. When she turns and sees a large dark figure with giant wings and glowing red eyes, this creature then comes and flies and stands right in front of her. In fear, Marcella drops her daughter on the ground and then falls on top of her. She says that she was paralyzed with fear and that she couldn't move. All she could see was the glowing red eyes staring at her. Eventually, Marcella was able to get up. She picked up her daughter and runs back inside of her friend's house. The baby was not harmed, by the way. She was, she was good. Marcella tells her friends what had just happened and they are all peering out the window trying to see what Marcella had just seen. The police were called to report the sighting, but as the police were on the phone, they heard a loud crash come from their front porch. They all looked because like, what the fuck was that? Like if you, I heard some outside, I'd be, I'd, I'd be looking. They looked through the front window and staring back at them, was a dark figure with glowing red eyes. By the time the police arrived, the creature was obviously long gone. These people were still talking and then this is when the creature was given the name of the Mothman. Between November 1966 and December 1967, a hundred people had come forward claiming that they had seen the Mothman. Many of these people hadn't come forward earlier in fear that people wouldn't believe them and that they were going to get called crazy. Because remember, this is back in the 60s and everyone thought being cra crazy was the end of the world. Due to the large number of eyewitnesses coming forward to the police, an artist was able to create a sketch of what the creature looked like based on the witness sightings, right? The witnesses who had seen the moth the witnesses who had seen the mothman had said it was a large humanoid type creature. It was grey, had big wings and large red glowing eyes, as you know. It was around seven feet tall and had a wingspan of about 10 feet. The head was either described as being oddly shaped with it being positioned close to the chest or some even claim that it didn't have a head and that the eyes were coming out of the chest. It was said that when the Mothman took to the sky, it would spread out its wings, but they, um, it wouldn't flap, it'd be like, I guess it glided rather than like flapped its wings. Some people were saying, oh, it's just a bird, but witnesses who had seen it were not having any of it. It's also said that the Mothman was able to like weave in between trees and stuff. Other people said they would fly like straight up like a helicopter when that 
takes off. Unbelief has just said that it was a Santa crane. I'll put a picture of them on the screen, which is a large bird which has red around its, its eyes, as you can see on here. A man named Woodrow, great name, was driving home to Mineral Wells in West Virginia on the 2nd of November 1966. So it was 10 days before Roger and his friends saw the Mothman. He was cut off by what he thought was a car. This surprised him because he didn't see any lights or a car in his rear view mirror. The car then, the car then overtook him but started going slower than Woodrow. So he was forced to brake. Woodrow got out of his car and realized that it wasn't a car. He saw that it was either a large unit or a UFO. Whatever it was, someone got out of the vehicle and this human-like creature starts what to what Woodrow interpreted as talking to him. By, but not through speech, through, um, through communicating telepathically, that's the word. This creature then entered the um, craft and then whoosh, it was gone. When Woodrow returned home, he explained it, of course, no one believed him, why would they? Now this, now this little side story links to the Mothman story because it was more common as sightings of the Mothman became more common. The UFOs were reported at the same side, at the same time as the Mothman sightings. So this made people think maybe the Mothman was an alien. So the so the main route to um, Point Pleasant was a bridge from Oaks, the state of Ohio over here and West Virginia. So there was a bridge that like connected the two, right? So on this bridge on December 15th, 1966, no, 1967 even, 46 people were killed. On this night, several phone calls to the police were made saying that a creature with red glowing eyes was seen at the bridge, meaning that the Mothman could have been responsible for the death of 46 people. People are becoming increasingly more afraid of the Mothman because he's wondering if he was going to harm them. Other, other people claim that the Mothman was an angel what, coming to warn them for future tragedies. But if this was the case, he did a pretty shit job at it. Sightings of the Mothman have been reported all over the world for several years and each person who has seen them as each person who has seen him has um, given the same description, so a book created in 1975 named The Mothman Prophecies by John Keel said that the witnesses from the Point Pleasant were having visions into the future, having random dreams and strange thoughts. Some individuals claim to have seen the collapse of the bridge before it even happened. And others say they saw UFOs flying around at the same time as they saw the Mothman. Others have had um, visits from the Men in Black. If you want me to do a video on that, I can do. But basically saying that it horrible things will happen if to them or to their families if they talk about their experiences and what they'd seen. On a lighter note, the town of Point Pleasant have a yearly festival based around the Mothman. So that's the end of this story. I'll put a playlist of more videos and I'm going to be making more Halloween ones. So keep tuned for that and I'll see you.
Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, give it a like. You can follow all my socials, which are linked down below. My podcast, if you're interested in that. And I'll see you soon for another true crime or another Halloween theme video. What am I saying? Bye. Subscribe.